In this video, I'll show you how to find the volume and surface area of any cylinder. The question asks, Campbell's is trying to decide out of which two cans to use for their new soup can. They are trying to budget accordingly and would like to use the least amount of surface area but have the most volume possible. Their standard soup can must be able to hold at least 300 centimeters cubed of volume, which can be best suited for their new soup can. So what we have here is can A and can B, and the dimensions are not shown, but I'll provide them now. The radius for this one is four, and the height is eight, and the radius for this one is two, and the height is 12. We have to decide which of these two cans is best suited for Campbell's soup. To do this question, we'll need to find the volume of both of these cans, and also we'll need to find the surface area of both of these cans. And the formulas for these are provided to your right. We'll call this can A and this can B. So let's start off with can A. The volume for can A is equal to, and using this formula right here, pi times r, which is 4, r represents the radius, to the power of 2 times the height, which is 8. Using our calculator, and when you calculate these types of questions, make sure that you use the pi button on your calculator. So in our case, it's shift that button, bracket 4 to the power of 2 times 8. And we end up with 128 pi, but on your calculator, you might see 402.12. I want to be extra precise, so I'm going to write down 128 pi. Now, I'll find the volume of can B using the same formula pi times 2 to the power of 2 times 12. Once again, times 2 to the power of 2 times 12 gives me, this time, 48 pi. 48 pi, which is equal to 150.79. Now, both of these values have a unit of centimeters cubed. And so far, let's see if any of these is suited for Campbell's. Well, we know that this is suited for Campbell's because 128 times pi is equal to 402. So this one is suited for Campbell's. But what about can be? 48 times pi gives us 150. So therefore, can be is not allowed. Now also, one of their other requirements is that it must have the least amount of surface area. Next, let's go ahead and find the surface area of both. The surface area of this one is equal to 2 times pi times 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 pi times 4 times 8. And similarly, using our calculator, 2 times pi, bracket 4 to the power of 2, plus 2 times pi to the times 4 times 8 gives us 96 pi or 301.59, 301.59 centimeters squared. Remember, surface area is an area. So we're going to use squared here for our unit. And for this one, the surface area will be, and this gives us 56 pi, 175 centimeters squared, approximately. So if Kimball's had to select a can based on their standards, where they say they need at least 300 centimeters cubed, they will have to choose can A. And so there you have it. That is how to find the volume and surface area of any cylinder. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.